Whew. Okay, so today, guys, um, we're going to be doing review session number nine, I think. Um, but in this review, we're going to be reviewing uh, A&W. We're going to have two sodas, by the way. It's um, So the, the things we're going to be reviewing is two sodas, one tea, two Gatorades, um, and basically one uh, Concord juice or sparkling juice. But the soda to start off with is A&W Cream Soda. The legendary, iconic, and classical Dr. Pepper. One of my favorites, Arizona Sweet Tea. Gatorade Orange and Gatorade Arctic Blast, or Blitz. And last but not least, Sparkling Concord Kadeem's uh, Grape Juice. Or Kadeem's Sparkling Concord Grape Juice, which is actually pretty good. It's, 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 it's a rich in the, in the grape. All right, so let's let's get this uh, party started. Let's um, get it started with like the rich, um, the rich juices. So let's start it off with the, uh, with some Gatorade. Ah, I can't open this bitch. I'll have to open that later on. <laughs> let's just start with Dr Pepper or uh, cream soda, I guess. Get that poor cam. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm shooting this in a different area, so that's that's why if you're if you're curious about that, it, it's true. I'm shooting in a different area right now because of the fact that like the area that I used I do shoot um, is not currently available. Let's put a lid on for the AW so it doesn't spill. Cause that's a lot of soda. It's still half a bottle of a two liter that I have. All right, let's give this a let's give this a taste. So this is the second um, flavor in the series of A and W. We've already done the A and W root beer flavor, and then we did. Um, uh, now we're doing the cream soda flavor, which is a little bit more of like a creamish orange, or like a creamish um, peach, like tan looking color type of thing. Um, I've tasted this before. I've done. I don't know if I've done an actual picture review of it. Um, I will have it in the in my uh, upcoming um, card game TCG, which is um, like all these all these food items I'm going to have in my card TCG game, which is um, uh, Food Wars, and it's going to be it's going to be coming out soon. Okay, so I can see what they mean by cream cream soda. When that soda hits your tongue, it tastes it, it tastes like if you're literally drinking. I want to say cream filling like vanilla cream I want to say not like chocolate cream or um, any other specific cream but like vanilla cream specifically it tastes just like that okay that's actually pretty good I gotta say cream soda man I, I feel like A&W tops the best sodas for like these types of sodas that are like on the side sodas that like A and W root beer, you know, float sodas. I should say, I should call them, and that's what they should be called is float sodas. That's good. Oh, that's probably my best soda, and probably the, the my favorite item out of all these items I'm reviewing today. most of it out so when we drink the Dr. Pepper none of it contaminates it um, okay so it is aged vanilla it's um, made with aged vanilla just like the root beer flavor is um, that's what it gets that creamy vanilla flavor um, it's low sodium it's caffeine free so if you have kids who want a root beer float you can have that at night as well as if you're trying to lay off the caffeine um, you can drink it at like nighttime um, it has 170 calories, so the sugar is not good on that part. Um, they come in two liters. They also come in small bottles. They also come in cans. I don't know if they come in minis because of the fact that like there's only a certain amount of sodas that uh, they come in minis. I do know the Rupert's uh, ones come in minis, but let's give this bad boy scores. So I'm gonna give the A and W cream soda a six out of actually an eight out of ten because of the fact that like it's it's it. It actually a ten out of ten because of the fact that like it tops the cream, the H vanilla cream flavor. So it's very creamy. It's, it's very delicious. So that's actually the first time I changed my scores three times. <laughs> uh, so the final score was ten out of ten. Okay, the next soda that we have is a doctor is a classic soda. It's Dr Pepper. Now this one does have caffeine. Um, it has 150 calories per uh, per stuff. 
Um, there's 23 authentic blend of, uh, it's in, a, it's 23 flavors. Uh, so that's why you have like the 23 right there, or the 23 right there, basically, you know. Um, it comes in two liters, small cans, and they do come in minis. Um, they also come in uh, bottles of uh, 20, of like 20 ounces, I mean. Um, this was established in 1885, so it's been around for at least 100 years. And in 65 years, it'll be around for 200 years. So 65 years, this will be a 200, a 200-year-old 200 uh, ingredient of a soda. So let's get to the the tasting, man. Dr. Pepper has been around, and to say this, we've all drank Dr. Pepper. I mean, if you're not from the United States, then you probably haven't, um, because Dr. Pepper is definitely a U.S. product. But um, we all know like the the flavors like when you taste coke be, uh, like when you taste coca-cola pepsi and then dr pepper you know the difference is because pepsi has like this hard um hard hitting flavor coca-cola is like this chocolate feel to it like this chocolate hard hitting flavor and this has like a pepperish type of flavor like it tastes like you're drinking something with pepper all right there's that there's that pour All right. Yeah, man, that's literally what I gotta say. It's um, not the greatest soda in the world, but it will give you by if you want. If you want something that's hard acidic flavor that also has caffeine, that's a little bit flavorish, um, and not too high in calories. Because in comparison to the cream soda, man, in comparison to this, this has like 170, and that one has like 150. So the calories, the sugars are low on the on the uh, Dr Pepper, but the acidness, the acidicness, I mean, is high. And the sugar, the, I'm pretty sure it's it's high in sugars or in salt. I mean, um, sodium, yeah, 55 milligrams versus so, uh, sodium, uh, 70 milligrams. Holy shit! No, this is. <laughs> low sodium 70 milligrams <laughs> uh, so cream soda is better dr pepper is better than cream soda <laughs> and health benefits uh but no that one is this one is basically it's something you definitely don't want to drink whenever you're having if you if you don't like heartburn because with the acidicness and the hardcore heart hitting flavor it gives off um based off of like the uh the acid the uh um the acid that it uses the caffeine the carbonated water the corn syrup it, it literally just gets you gives you heartburn so if you don't like that don't drink this um but yeah so authentic blend of 23 flavors only actual flavors i can taste I don't know how to describe it. It's like um yeah, it's like a pepperish flavor. Like Pepsi doesn't taste this way. You know it's Dr. Pepper though. Uh, man, how do you describe that flavor? Because it's like pepperish, but it's also wide variety. Like I don't know, it's just describe it by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Alright, so Dr. Pepper, I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Alright, and notice that they're mostly drinking because this drink, this bottle was used uh, by me and some of my friends. They're like, no, we don't want any, so I took it home. This one has been drinking mostly by me, but the like the thing's still there, so I'm going to, you know, savor that. This, I, I, I haven't had any of this, to be honest. I don't know why I said it tasted great at the beginning of the video, but my cousins had some of it. Um... And these are still unopened. Same with the can of Arizona tea. Alright, so let's move on to the Arizona tea, speaking of it. So, oh, shit. All my ice was uh, fell out. <laughs> Damn, I gotta go get some more ice, man. Alright, now that I actually got um <laughs> some more ice and my uh, lid fell apart. <laughs> so, um because I had it um, over there but um so I have this in like a little can um, Arizona southern style real brewed sweet tea this comes in like big bottles or big cans I mean and also comes in like large bottles too um, shake well refrigerate after opening 
So if you don't, if you want to savor it, you can put it in the refrigerator. Because if not, then it will get it will go bad because it's tw it's tea, obviously. Um, this comes from uh, Arizona Beverages USA, and it's come from Brewdberry, so that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, 100% all natural. See that all natural. <laughs> Um, so it's real brewed. Um, I don't know if there's any caffeine in here. Uh, yeah, 100% natural, no preservatives, no artificial flavor, and no artificial color. Um, does it have caffeine though? No, 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 no caffeine. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's get to the let's get to the uh, tasting instead of the uh, the facts. Oh, that pour looks just like a like cream soda. <laughs> But in a way, it doesn't taste like cream soda. Hell no. That shit. Get you fooled. Alright, let's get taste into this. Okay. So one thing I do notice is whenever you... If you drink, like, actual tea bags uh, versus Arizona tea, like Linton's tea or... Um, like those uh, dragon or like those Japanese teas that are, like, you know, 100% like natural teas... It, and you drink Arizona tea uh, side by side of that. Arizona tea has a lot more sugar than um, the regular teas, like the tea packs. But this is like artificial sugar or artificial. Um, it's not artificial, but it's natural sugar. But it's a lot of natural sugar. So you still have to watch for yourself because yeah, where's the calories on this? 130 calories per can um, per serving, and. This one can is uh, one per one serving per container, so yeah, 130 calories. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. That's just if you want to uh, go on a diet. So this, if you drink it cold, it does have that sweetness to it, um, but it's just tea, honestly. It it tastes like this flourish tea that has sweetened natural sugar to it, and that's literally all I can say about that. But with the Southern style, I can say it is different from other sweet teas because you can taste the way they brewed it. It's like a certain taste. If you it, like, if you brew certain stuff, it comes out different, like different results. Um, like if someone puts out like you know the different styles of uh, cooked steak, like oh this is mini rare, this is rare, this is well done, you know, um, and th that's basically like this. This was Southern, you know, Southern brewed. Um, so it does it does taste differently. It's it's a unique tea, um, but it's it's not um, huge on uh, a huge n different flavor. But it, it is a different style. So for that, I'm gonna give Arizona uh, sweet tea. I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten. All right. Now let's try to open these fucking bottles. I might have to use this shit. These fucking Gatorade bottles, man, I swear to God. There we go, I got it. Okay, so... I'll try to get the rest of the tea out. Alright. Let's get that pour. So this one is Gatorade Orange. Um, Gatorade... So this one's probably, like... This one's, like, the original... One of the original flavors for Gatorade. Um, because, like, they have original flavors, but then they also have, um... Uh, they have like nat like like this like the uh, blitz. This one is part of Gatorade Frost um, series. This one is just the original series. So this is Gatorade Orange. Let's see that pour. There we go. So this one is orange, kind of just like the court, like the the cream color or the cream uh, cream soda and the and the Southern Tea. And. Did you know that Gatorade is actually considered a juice because of the fact that like it's not, it's not soda, it's not, and it's like an energetic juice because of the fact of like the uh, the uh, electrolytes that are inside of it. Yeah, classic Gatorade. Now, for those of you who have never tasted Gatorade in your life, there, so like all of us who are in America. Have probably once in your life tasted Gatorade. Um, so this has 80 calories per serving, or per 12 ounces serving, and there's a 32 uh, floral ounce. Um, this is natural flavored with other natural flavors. Um, 
Ooh, um, the protein is zero, is zero grams. No, no shit. <laughs> Potassium is fifty uh, milligrams though. Um, it contains no fruit juice, but it's considered a juice. Yeah, the electrolytes. Uh, there's electrolytes to help replenish what uh, what you lose in sweat. Uh, carbs to help ref um, refill working muscles. So it basically, in their logo is uh, rehydrate, replenish, refill. So be basically, it's you know, it's like a it's like a energetic juice, if that makes sense. Like if juice was energy drinks, like Monster Juice, but this one's more of like a like a hardcore like juice because of the fact that like it's just plain. Yeah, all I gotta say is, man, like the if you are have if you've never had orange Gatorade before, like if you live in a different country from the U.S. and you've never had um, orange Gatorade, best way to describe it or best way to describe it is if you drink orange juice, but from a perspective of that orange, that nat the artificial flavor orange. They say it's natural flavors, but I can guarantee this is an artificial orange, orange flavor because you taste that. Like it, you have that orange artificial flavor in every single orange flavored um, fruits and, and drinks. Like you know, Starburst and stuff. Like it just takes multiple different forms. And I can guarantee it's from like the orange uh, coloring uh, ingredient. So this next one is part of the Gatorade. For oh, okay, I didn't do the review on uh, orange. So Gatorade orange, would I give it? I give it a five out of a five out of ten because of the fact that like it's not the greatest drink, it's not the worst drink, but it will if it's cold, it will replenish your ass so hard you won't know what to do with it. So yeah, that's that's basically why I'm gonna do this. All right, so the next Gatorade drink, which is um, um, the next drink on our list, or the the next the last juice I have today, um, it's the same thing. It's got 80 calories. This one's this flavor's though. It's called Arctic Blitz. It's a blueberry. It's a blue type of looking drink. Um, yeah, and it, this one's like crisp and cool. Like that's what the logo for it is too. And it's 32 ounces, one quart. All right, let's get that pour, man. All right, there's that part. You, I can definitely smell the, that flavor, man. Cause like some Gatorades just have that certain plain feel, but this one, mmm, yeah, that one's more. I love these ones because it's more flavored, and it has the same amount of calories as the Bridger ones. It has the same ingredients same formula as the original ones but this one's more flavorful man i gotta say man this one's good mm. i literally can't stop drinking this it's like it's like crack cocaine don't do drugs kids <laughs> Woo. just kidding mmm I finished what's all in my cup, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, Gatorade, Frost, Arctic Blitz. My thoughts on this? It's it's yeah, it's crisp and cool. It's f more flavorful than the original flavors. Um, I would recommend this to to people. I wouldn't recommend the orange one though, uh, to those who haven't had ga the Gatorade flavors. Um. In for like an overall score, it did stick to that Arctic, that Arctic feel, that cold, uh, blueberry blitz type of Arctic feel to it. So I'm gonna give this one a score of a, a well, a six out of ten. <laughs> I'm messing up today, badly, boys. <laughs> All right, last but not least, Keatum Sparkling Concord Grape Juice. Now this is a hundred percent juice. And their summary for it is a blend of fresh grapes juices uh, with grape juice concentrate with added ingredients. No sugar added. Um, Non-alcoholic. And it's 24 ounces. Um, it's 140 calories overall. Um, and uh, store in a cool place. Serve chilled. Uh, 
Yeah, and, and there, there's something in the background is uh, Keenum Sparkling Concord Grape Juice is the perfect non-alcoholic alternative for parties, special case, uh, special occasions, or any time. Um, like this time, where I'm reviewing it. <laughs> so, the only actual like sparkling wines that I've ever reviewed on the show is the Welch's, because Welch's is like the main popular for that shit. But, we, I was like, I seen this, and my cousin's got it. So I was like, okay, let's do this, man. Let's do this. Alright. Ah, yeah, you can smell that great, man. All right, Keaton, don't disappoint me. Are you better than uh, Are you better than uh, Welch's? Let's Let's find out. Woo! Mmm, that's tasty. Again, I've never had this before, so. This is my first time ever trying it. So this is a real reaction versus the Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Because those I've tasted, I was just was reviewing it, giving my thoughts on it. Okay. That's, ooh, that's good. That hits the spot, man. Alright, so Ketum. Sparkling Concord Grape Juice. I don't know if this is the only drink in their uh, series, but I'll look it up and let you guys know. Um, but this one, I'm going to give a review of a, an 8 out of 10 because of the fact that like, it sticked to its grape juice type of flavor. It's delicious. It's non-alcoholic, so, you know, it's, it can be in its celebratory, it's celebratory style. It's sparkling, you know. I like to sparkle. <laughs> um, it has a great uh, summer in the background. And the ingredients are just great, so I'm gonna be, yeah, this is a 8 out of 10. Um, it doesn't deserve the 10 out of 10 because it's not flourishing, but it is good, so yeah. You guys are the Drip Pictures, I'm Jeremy Rifford. I salute you guys up, ram the demo, you motherfucking dreams, <laughs> and I'll see you guys later.